This exhibition is Generations of Art, the Tsunami Family, and it's here at the Cultural Arts Center in Columbus until January 5th. The exhibition uh, spans four generations of my family. My father's work, my work, our daughter Jennifer's work, and our daughter-in-law April's paintings. It also is featuring the music of our son Christopher and our grandson River has paintings in it too. So it's four generations. So my grandfather was an artist, my father's an artist, my sister's an artist, I'm married to an artist, and my, uh, my kids are artists as well. So We have an appreciation of art which just surrounded us in our lives. Well, we always grew up with art and I think, you know, my, my grandfather came to the country, he was an immigrant from Japan, he came to the country to study art and um, it's always been a high priority. Everybody in my family has always really put art first. Um, I grew up as a musician and it was always understood that like um, when I was practicing other things would stop, you know, and it was just, it was just always a high priority to, to see art, to make art, to, uh, to appreciate art. The photographs of my father, uh, I've been uh, working to save the negatives so the images wouldn't be lost. He was a pioneer uh, photographer of modern dancers, such as Martha Graham, Agnes DeMille, Ruth St. Dennis. A big part of the reason for this particular exhibit has to do with my grandfather's art. During his life, he was fairly well known, but at this time, he hasn't been remembered as much. Some of the photographs are historically significant. Some of the earliest photos of um, the pioneers of modern dance. Hope of this was to uh, help restore his legacy. And then also, um, my wife April has been getting a lot of uh, success and attention recently, so it was also a good chance to kind of tie that together. My work is more varied. I do some photography, I do painting. I'm primarily a, a graphic artist and sculptural artist. I also write poetry, but I've always loved music. Our daughter Jennifer, she does small paintings mostly, so it was a little harder to gather them all together for this exhibition because I had to uh, find enough of them. Uh, Daughter-in-law, April, she has mixed media and uh, actually the painting behind me is one of her works. Well, art is a motivating force. The thing about art is it expands your world. When you uh, experience art, and when you, especially when you do art, uh, you're more aware of what is happening. I've always loved this gallery space here at Cultural Arts. I think it's one of the finest places to exhibit in Columbus. I've always thought it would be nice to have an ex exhibition here. I could have my father's work, and then I thought, well, maybe I could have my work, and then I thought, well, maybe we'd have all of the family's work. Uh, Christopher uh, music has always been part of his expression, a part of the way he sees things and thinks. I've always been very passionate about music, um, and particularly for writing instrumental music for um, multiple instruments. I wrote it over the course of about 20 years, and it's just, um, you know, I get to hear it in my head, but now everybody will hear it, and I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Part of the exhibition, too, is I have a large scroll that is a fam really a family history, but it shows what an American family is. My wife, who is African-American, uh, her mother's family uh, were descended from slaves. Her father's family was always free, but uh, he was uh, in the Revolutionary War. 
And then my family, my father came over from Japan in 1907. He said he wanted to study Western art. My mother's family, uh, she was born uh, in Bainbridge Island near Seattle. Her family was interned during the war. One of the great benefits of this exhibition has been the response of friends, of acquaintances. People have been so supportive, so enthusiastic. It's also just a chance to see a real range of art. Even though so many of the members of the family are artists, they all have their own artistic vision. Uh, they've all taken in very, very different directions. There'll be a chance to see a bit of all of that. Then seeing everything together just puts it all together. Ha, ha, ha.